Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is here, finally. Team of the season is here in FIFA Ultimate Team. We are ready for all the content that's gonna be coming in the next couple of weeks. Honestly, the next month or so. This is gonna be a long promotion. Um, and that's one of the things that I think we're going to actually learn today is how long this promotion is going to go. Usually on the first day of the promotion, uh, like today, even if you're watching this video before the promotion actually drops, I would expect us to get some sort of um, tweet from EA and a web page kind of outlining the promotion on their website. That's what I'm looking forward to today um, as we head into Team of the Season most consistent. Now I want to look at some things on the market and some areas of the market that could move here today um, just with the panic selling beforehand if you're watching this video before 6 p.m. UK definitely we'll talk about a few panic selling things and then what could happen after 6 p.m. UK as well. So there's been a few things that have actually happened tonight. I'm gonna to actually go look this up on Twitter really quick for you guys. There was a the a moments version Footwatch tweeted out tonight a team of the season moments card and um, it was very interesting to say the least because I was not ready for this card design um, as it loads right now on the PC I was not ready to see this this is what it is right here it's basically the same team of the season design but without the gold bar um, so that's the the team of the season card design with the gold bar and this is called the tots moments and if you look at the thread he actually shows the code inside of it and now I thought this was fake actually for a moment because the levels false the big head false like I was like big head what is that so that actually must be part of the code because he is not joking with this um, and they're calling this card in the code tots moments more of maybe kind of like a nominee card maybe there's going to be some type of flashback tots cards we don't know it's all speculation right now at this point but we are going to have multiple different versions of team of the season cards so that's one thing that we really need to watch out for today that is the pack outline design as well for foot 19 team of the season i don't think it looks pretty cool i'm ready to see the dynamic images and see uh what is is going to be coming for team of the season um but we need to look at a few things on the market because Leading up to Team of the Season right now, when you're probably watching this video, Team of the Season has not actually dropped yet. And you've probably heard a lot of people talking about, well, maybe we can buy in the Panic Cell before 6 p.m. UK and actually make some coins as people go and buy back their weekend league teams um, this weekend. I think that is a very, very possible thing that's going to happen today. And I don't want to go too in-depth into that, but I just kind of want to explain a few scenarios that we could see today that might change some of that or make some of that better. Now obviously you know that it is a rumor going around that the foot champions, I have not actually seen this to myself and I honestly don't even know. Yes, it is blank. So you see down here at the bottom of the screen, the rewards for this, um, where it usually says the pack that it gives out. It does not say anything because there should be, and I think people are expecting there to be some type of team of the season reward at the bottom of these um, in the packs that you get from them. So we're talking like team of the season packs and stuff like that. So there's going to be some extra demand for people this weekend to play weekend league um, because of the fact that they might have the ability to get some team of the season cards in their foot champions rewards. So that's going to add some demand, um, you know, to our normal Friday. The market didn't rise too much from weekend league rewards. It did some. Um, these are some of the weekend league flips that I had, but I think the real market movements are what we could see today. If we see a panic sell before 6 p.m. UK, if you're watching this video before 6 p.m., if you see a panic sell going on right now, and I'm talking like pretty uh, hefty size drops in price. I mean, if we're over here looking at some of the, um, let's see, look at the team of the knockout stage squad, for example. If you're seeing guys like, wow, some of this is already pretty low, but if you're seeing guys like Kyung Min Sun at 400K, if you're seeing Yoris at 120K, you know, if you're seeing a lot of these cards that which are down, but if you see them drop another five to ten percent, that's when I would start to get interested because some of these cards, especially some of the really really rare ones, are cards that people are still going to use in their teams. They're they're still going to be used in FIFA, um, but people are going to panic sell them because the team of the season is coming. They want to see what comes out. Now, I also want to talk about a possible second window of panic selling 
right when team of the season actually drops. Um, now, maybe we're over here on the market. Um, we're looking at a special the Lala card. I mean, this is a card that a lot of people want to have in their team. Um, he is a good right back. He is the best version. They're probably waiting for his Tots card. But at this moment in time, he doesn't actually have a Tots card. So people have to play with his headliner. Um, this would be a card that you would want to pick up in the Panic Cell. Obviously, as a team of the week in packs this week. Um, but if we do get some more content at 6 p.m., let's say they drop just something massive on us at 6 p.m., and that induces another spark of panic onto the market, that's the point that I really want to get at. I don't think I'm going to be buying much or anything before 6 p.m. UK. I'm going to monitor it, and if stuff gets too low, stuff gets too low. We'll be looking through some of these Team of the Weeks. We'll be looking through um, Team of the Week cards, old special cards, even maybe some Team of the Years, but I'm thinking more in the cheaper range. I don't feel like a lot of people are going to go out and build their endgame team today. Some people might. Some people might, but I'm going to have a feeling that a lot of people will not, and a lot of people are just going to build a team and spend some of their new found coins they get from opening packs or whatever. You know, under the 500,000 coin range is a more guaranteed um, profit for flips in that sort of region for some panic selling today, but we really have to see what comes out at 6 p.m. UK, because if there's a lot of stuff that comes out today, and obviously some of this might be, you are watching this after the fact, and seeing, you know, we didn't get too much today, the market's starting to rebound, uh, and stuff like that, that would be interesting to me to watch as well. And that's kind of what I'm hoping for, that we don't get a ton of stuff. Maybe we get the promise of some cool stuff that's coming out, but really nothing too major in terms of content um, coming until the next couple of weeks. And then we see a buyback from Weekend League. So that's really what I want to you know, get your guys' heads wrapped around. That is kind of like a Friday market movement that we could see today. Some panic selling before 6 p.m. UK, and then some buyback afterwards as people go and play Weekend League, because obviously we are hearing, and we might even figure out at 6 p.m. UK tomorrow, that the rewards will be, um, will have something to do with Team of the Season, and that's gonna cause a greater buyback. But if they put out tons of SBCs tomorrow, and promise some crazy, crazy stuff, like maybe they drop a Team of the Week SBC on us right away, that would be something that I would say be careful for and really watch out for um, that could mess up the market a little bit. I don't know about a team, of the, uh, a team of the Week SBC, but even a Team of the Season SBC, a guaranteed TOTS card, that would be something that I think a lot of people would go out and do right away. You would see a market rebound after that um, as well. But, you know, that's going to be the kind of trading scenario tomorrow. Now, other market movements that we definitely will see, there's going to be packs opened, obviously, because this new, um, because the new team of the season most consistent is going to be in packs. So take a look at your gold cards tomorrow, getting your 83s, club stocking your 83s, 84s, 85s, all the way up to 89. Some of these cards are starting to get pretty cheap uh, in price. You start to see them kind of climb down. Um, it might be time for a club stock. It's better to do it early and to get a good price before more SBCs come out, require these high rated golds and everything like that. So that's one thing to watch tomorrow. Another thing to watch is, and this is going to be something that not a lot of people are focused in on, watch this team of the week because there are still some very, very good cards in here, even though Hazard's probably going to get a team this season here in a week or so. Even though Kenny Lala has a higher rated card than this, that card is 80, you know, 70,000 coins more than this version. This card might be something that could take a huge hit tomorrow in a, in a big pack opening spree. Some people will open their saved packs as well. Excuse me, today. If this card hits 100k, I mean, you have to absolutely go out and buy that card. Even though it is in packs, it will 100% rebound because the price difference right now between these two cards is not that much. And if you see this card drop a big chunk tomorrow, you know, during lightning rounds, it could be an opportunity to pick some of them up for a quick flip. I would only do that with the Werner, with the Hazard, maybe the Gomez and the Lala. The other cards I wouldn't really uh, worry about too much just because of the fact that uh, they're not as meta and everything like that. But again, watch the market today for some of these market movements, including special cards being panic sold, um, and obviously, keep to the ones that are that are very OP and that people use a lot in their teams, like an informed Robertson, you know, maybe an informed Linkovitz Savage, possibly, 
and even the link investments to some of these new team of the season cards, once we see their stats tomorrow, that could be an investment opportunity right away because one thing that people are going to do right away is they're going to go out and they're going to try some of these new cards. Now, one person that I can already think of that's probably going to get a TOTS card is Alderwild. Uh, he already has a special. He has the uh, Carnival version, I believe. And this card has come down in price some, but it's still kind of high. You're going to see this card dip a bunch tomorrow. And if you see that um, TOTS card at like 500k first day, but you see this uh, Carnival version like get hit at 150 or something, that's going to be a huge buy opportunity as well because it's going to draw some attraction to this card, even though Spurs just won and that's some more attention to it as well. Um, you're going to have some more attraction to this card since it is a decent card, you know, 70 pace, he's got good defending. The TOTS card will be better. I mean, it's probably going to be like 93, 94 rated. Um, but then link investments to cards like that. The cards that people are going to want to try from this team of the season most consistent is going to be good um, link investment opportunities in terms of, hey, I can go out on the market right now and possibly pick up a deal with some link investments. So there's going to be a lot of market movements today. It's going to be a crazy, crazy fun day on the market. We're going to learn a lot about team of the season. And that's what I'm most uh, pumped for and looking forward to is just learning what's going to be coming during this promo. But again, watch the panic sell in the morning and a possible buyback in the afternoon. A lot of people are thinking about this, um, but wait until 6 p.m. UK to really see what's coming out before you go and buy anything because there's probably going to be some saved packs. Um, I mean, I have some saved packs here. My um, Rivals rewards from last night. I have four mega packs. I'm probably going to open them at some point tomorrow just because the new items are in packs. Um, but then again, watch the gold cards, watch the informs. And when those gold cards go low, watch the prices of some of these SBCs. If you haven't, if you have not done Vela um, or if you have not done the PFA player of the year, they could get very cheap. They only have two days left in the SBC section. So definitely watch out for these cars because they're going to be ending soon. And with the gold prices dropping a bunch, these are probably already down, but they could go even lower. Same thing if you're looking to do an Antonio Valencia or a Franck Ribéry card. Obviously, this one's out for 12 days for a much longer time, but it's an opportunity to possibly get those SBCs done for cheaper this weekend when there are a lot of items out there being packed from the store with lightning rounds and everything like that. If you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate for the Catch you guys later. Peace out.